Here we go again. Manchester United should have splashed the cash for Erling Haaland back in 2021, insists club legend Dwight York. York told OLBG, You can't bet against Erling Haaland anymore, he'll always score. This is why I said Man United should have bought him for 150 millions back in 2021. Haaland is unique, he may miss a few but he'll score most of the opportunities he gets. Other sides of Haaland's game can be developed, and it will get better because he's only 23 years old. It's frightening that he scored 36 goals, and Haaland still knows he can improve to an even higher level. Defenders should be worried for years to come. Meanwhile, Manchester United's Scott McTominay faces losing nearly 1 million after investing in a failed firm run by his WAG's dad. Fortress Capital Partners went bust last year. The firm, operated by McTominay's fiancée Cameron Reading and her dad Ashley, owed 18 million, leaving 230 people out of pocket. It borrowed from investors including Boyzone star Shane Lynch, then lent it out at higher interest rates. The readings also splashed out millions on luxury investment properties in the UK, Dubai and Spain. McTominay, 27, lent Fortress 1 million to buy one in Portugal. The Scottish midfielder now stands to get back just 100 thousands of pounds after administrators confirmed investors are expected to get just 10p of every one they put in. On the other side, Borussia Dortmund are desperate to make Jadon Sancho's move back to the club from Manchester United permanent in the summer, according to reports. The 23-year-old returned to Germany on loan in January after being exiled from Man United's first team following a high-profile dispute with manager Eric Ten Hag. Dortmund previously sanctioned Sancho's move to Old Trafford in a 73 millions transfer three years ago and now want to seal his permanent transfer back from the Premier League club, as reported by Bild. Sancho's existing contract in Manchester expires in 2026, and the winger is keen to leave the club after a career-worst spell that has also coincided with him falling out of the England setup. He scored his first goal since rejoining Dortmund in their 2-1 Bundesliga victory over Werder Bremen at the weekend and the club are now exploring how they can engineer Sancho's return for next season. He scored his first goal since rejoining Dortmund in their 2-1 Bundesliga victory over Werder Bremen at the weekend, and the club are now exploring how they can engineer Sancho's return for next season. The club are shrewd business operators in the transfer market, often recruiting cheap, improving players, and then selling on for huge profit, but United are unlikely to drop their asking price to meet Dortmund's demands. When United initially chased Sancho's signature, they were consistently rejected before agreeing to pay nearly 80 million dollars for the tricky winger. The English side will have to lower their asking price and look set to make a certain loss on Sancho when he does depart. But Dortmund have secret plans to lower his fee even further. One option being explored by the German giants is to ask for Sancho to be sent back to the club for another season-long loan in Germany before trying to seal a later purchase. They are also considering using Sancho in a player plus cash deal for talented forward Daniel Malin, who has been linked with a move to United. The recruitment charge is being led by Dortmund manager Edin Terzic, who is understood to be impressed with Sancho's return to form after a previous barren spell of not playing in Manchester. The forward found himself cast out at United after clashing with Ten Hag after being beaten by Arsenal at the Emirates earlier in the season. Sancho publicly hit out at Ten Hag for criticizing him and was subsequently banned from first-team training and exiled to train with the youth teams. Again and again. Eric Ten Hag hit back at questions on Manchester United, allowing their opposition too many shots by pointing to the expected goals figure within their games. United beat Everton 2-0 at Old Trafford on Saturday, but the Toffees had 23 shots, and it was the fifth time in six games that opponents have had at least 20 shots against United. But when asked about the number of shots United were allowing the opposition to have, Ten Hag said, we do it already for a longer time in many more games. If you see their XG is not that high, and ours is much higher. It is their game plan, obviously. We have players who feel comfortable to defend low. But you have to be disciplined, and you have to incorporate it very well. It was a team performance, especially our back four with the keeper and Casemiro. They have done very well. Meanwhile, 
Here there are Man United's next five games. Eric Ten Hag's squad are facing Liverpool twice in their next five games, which will be a serious challenge for United, as Jurgen Klopp's side are on top form this term. Next Sunday, United host the Reds for the FA Cup quarter-final, as the Red Devils hope not to crash of another tournament this term. And as they eye up a European spot next season, they will need to beat Brentford, Chelsea, Bournemouth, and Liverpool. So, March 17 United will play with Liverpool, home ground in FA Cup. March 30, United will play with Brentford, away pitch. April 4, United will play with Chelsea, away pitch. April 7, again United play with Liverpool, home ground. April 14, United will play with Bournemouth, away pitch. On the other hand, scouts watch Atalanta Talent. According to reports, Man United sent scouts to Turin to watch Juventus entertain Atalanta. Italian transfer expert Nicola Shira has revealed who the Red Devils were looking at. He wrote on X, A Manchester United scout was in Turin this afternoon to watch the game between Juventus and Atalanta to monitor Toyn Coop miners. Atalanta asked 60 millions to sell the Dutch midfielder. Manager Eric Ten Hag will be looking to strengthen his midfield in the summer, after struggling in the middle of the park. Elsewhere, Arsenal are looking to beat Man United to the signing of Lucas Netz. The Borussia Mönchengladbach defender has featured heavily in the Bundesliga this campaign and impressed with five assists. According to Hitk, the Red Devils have also sent scouts to sign the left back. The 20-year-old was signed from Hertha Berlin in 2021 again and again. Manchester United will embark on a major summer rebuild of the squad in the summer. New co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe and his Ineos group have taken over football operations at Old Trafford after their investment last month and are already making plans. Off the pitch, Ratcliffe has already appointed the likes of Sir Dave Brailsford and Omar Barada, though the latter is on gardening leave from Manchester City. Another man on gardening leave is Dan Ashworth, who will come in as sporting director once an agreement is reached with Newcastle United. It is matters in the transfer market that will take up most of the planning this summer, however. United's squad needs a complete overhaul if they are to close the gap on the likes of City and Liverpool, who produced a thrilling game on Sunday in the Premier League title race. United have already been linked with a host of players, including two men who came up against them on Saturday. Everton duo, Gerard Branthwaite and Amadou Onana. Branthwaite has been tipped for a move to Old Trafford given the ongoing issues at centre-half, while midfielder Onana is seen as someone who could inject more power and presence in the centre of the park. Everton may have to cash in on both players especially given their ongoing financial issues, with another potential points deduction looming after possible FFP and PSR breaches. They could bring in around $125 million from the sale of their two assets, with Branthwaite having a $75 million price tag on his head, while Onana is expected to be sold for in excess of $50 million. Both players will be in demand at the end of the season, and Newcastle United's chief scout Stephen Nixon was spotted in the Old Trafford stands on Saturday taking in the game. The Magpies are also looking to strengthen the center of both their defense and midfield this summer, as they look to cash in on the extra spending power and commercial boost they have had over the last 12 months. Nixon is believed to have been watching Branthwaite in particular, with the 21-year-old having impressed this season.